for those very limited items. This, of course, will sum up and be pulled on over to page one of the form 1040. Okay, so line 12. Certain business expenses of reservists, performing artists, and fee-based government officials. Very limited. Include the following deductions on line 12. Certain business expenses of National Guard and reserve members who traveled more than 100 miles from home to perform services as National Guard or reserve members. So again, very specific, very uh, specific type of situation. Also note that sometimes you, you might think in, in some of these like military situations that if you get reimbursed for the travel, then you may not be able to, to take it and take the, because you'd be double dipping if you got reimbursed and then you and then you paid for it. But in this case, it's likely that you may not get reimbursed for the travel time in that particular situation. But we'll take a look at some other situations where they did a similar thing with the moving. With, you used to be able to move if you go to a new job, for example, uh, um, and you used to be able to deduct on that. But they did a, another kind of restriction type of thing that we'll see in a following presentation. But possibly if you're in the military, then you might still be able to get a deduction for that situation. But oftentimes there, the military might uh, compensate you, in which case you might not get the deduction in that case because that would be kind of like double dipping. So performing arts uh, related expenses as qualified performing arts and uh, business expenses as fee based state or local government officials. So very specific for more details. If you have people that fall into that particular very specific category, as opposed to people coming in saying, yeah, I'm a W2 employee for the vast other amounts of areas trying to say, can I get a deduction for this, that and the other thing? Because these are business deductions then uh, again, that's been limited. And if you have more areas or in these specific areas, more questions about them, then you can go to the form 2106 on the IRS website and take a look at more detail there.